Welcome to the second installment of Thing vs. Slightly Better Thing. Today we will look at processors that are, for the most part, irrelevant today because everything on this channel is... irrelevant. Everyone should know what I'm talking about when I say Q6600, 2.4GHz, quad-core, and unlocked. But the Q9300 came out afterwards and could be called the successor of the Q6600. A month or so ago, I unboxed a new Q6600 and a used Q9300 in hopes to compare the two. And today, that's what I do. Side note, at the moment I don't have a way to overclock these processors because of my motherboard. In the future maybe I'll get a better motherboard or I'll figure out how to do it with my current one. Speckless time. The clock speeds are fairly similar, 2.4 GHz on the Q6600 and on the Q9300 we've got 2.5 GHz, only a 100 MHz increase. However, there is a significant increase in the manufacturing process, dropping 20 of the nanometers. As well as the front side bus is increased for better transfer speeds with, uh, between the memory and the processor. 6 MB of L2 cache, so it is dropped by 2 MB when going up to the Q9300. I don't know what happened there, but it happened. They're both quad cores with four threads. The Q6600 is the Kinsfield architecture, while the Q9300 is of the Yorkfield architecture. The whole system used this time is different from the last from last time. Here it is, it's back here. Hey. We're using our two CPUs cooled by a large Intel stock heatsink on an X38 workstation by HP with a GTX 960, the same one from the last episode of Thing vs. Slightly Better Thing. 8 GB of 800 MHz DDR2 Kingston memory, the SSD from last time, as well as a 2 TB hard drive, and an EVJ 430W power supply. We've ran all of our tests at 1080p. We tested Bioshock Infinite on its benchmark on Ultra with Diffusion. Fallout 4 on Ultra settings. GTA 5 on high settings with normal textures because of the 2 GB frame buffer on the GTX 960. Tomb Raider 2013 on ultimate settings, and we also have Rise of the Tomb Raider on high settings. However, the FPS here is very terrible. Shadow of Mordor on very high settings. Of course, also not ultra because of the 2 GB frame buffer on the 960. And lastly, we tested Cinebench R15. Q9300 is faster by a couple FPS. Not a huge increase, but I was expecting more out of it. Because it's slightly higher clock speed and it's much newer manufacturing process, as well as the higher front side bus speed. However, let's hope overclocking makes a big difference, because in some of these games, I wouldn't consider them playable. Thank you guys for watching the second installment of Thing vs. Slightly Better Thing. I invite you to stay tuned for the next video.